Listen, when I went through David's laptop, I found pictures of Rachel and Frank being more than friends. <laughs> right, no way, Max. She was just posing to tease Frank. If you're not gonna believe me, why don't we check out what Frank has in his RV? What's that gonna prove? Frank has Rachel's bracelet. What else does he have in there? Motherfucker better not have anything, for his sake. Let's check the door. Frank gets so wasted, he sometimes forgets to lock it. I can't believe you hung out with him. Not anymore. We have to be casual ninjas here. Shipples. Okay, here's the plan. I'll go to the diner and distract Frank by telling him I have his money, but he needs to come with me. Then you come in and rewind so Frank doesn't see me. Then you can tell Frank he needs to check out his RV, and then you rewind after you get the key, and, uh, and... Chloe, I got this. I'll be right back. Don't let my epic plan get in the way of yours. I'll try to scrounge up a Scooby snack to distract his mangy mutt. Now to find a quick and easy way to snag Frank's keys. Good morning. How are the fish today? Don't ask. First the snow, then an eclipse. What's next, a tornado? I hope not. Could be worse. We could get one of those California quakes. True. Well, I'm feeling a little dizzy now. Um, hope you catch the big one today. I better. Too late to switch careers now. See you around, kid. Hey, how's it going? Peachy. Interview over. Having a bad day at the office? Some punks messed with the train tracks, and now I have to wait for three days until I get my cargo. Time is money for a guy like me. Oh. Oh yeah, that sucks. Wish I could drive right out of Arcadia Bay. Whole town is crumbling. Snow, eclipse, and a slut trying to commit suicide. Maybe you should leave then. What if I could? Now even that shifty Rachel What's-Her-Face asked me once if I'd drive her to Los Angeles. You knew Rachel Amber? Can you tell me about her? Nope. Christ, why don't you get a real job instead of homework? I'd love to see you Blackwell turds try to drive my 1977 Needham 18-wheeler out there. Like I said, interview over. So ominous. Tornadoes, snowfall, eclipses. Now dying and nope, I don't want to go there. Hey, no photo girl. Hi, how are you? I remember you. Max, can I get you something from the diner? I heard about that girl almost jumping off the Blackwell roof. It's been a sad week at Blackwell. It's a sad world, Max. But you're so damn young. Oh, if I could go back and be your age again. I truly wish I could help you. You did the last time you talked to me. Now you look like you could do with help of your own. Just to find some answers. I'm probably a bigger snoop than you. People pretend to not see me, 
so I see everybody and everything. I think Joyce's husband David has something to do with all this. He's an uptight ass, but I think he just wants something to do. Like make life hell for me and his family? Sounds like you know a lot more than me, child. I just think Arcadia Bay is in trouble. Maybe you'd like to tell me what you're hiding. I feel like I can trust you as much as Chloe. And you wouldn't think I'm crazy. Too late for me to judge anybody. Plus, you're not crazy. I'm just gonna say this. I had a vision of Arcadia Bay being destroyed by a tornado. For real. Could be. Bad mojo is in the air this week. Thanks for the warning, Max. Thanks for that storm warning, Max. And, uh, I'll let you know if I find out anything. Good lord, bacon. I'm ready to nosh again. Ugh, but I need to get those keys from Frank. Nathan has time to get drugs from Frank because he was expelled. But that doesn't explain the recent extreme weather patterns. You should have jumped, asswipe. Shit. What are the other signs, then? You have serious balls, little girl. But hanging out with Chloe, playing with guns, and dressing up like Rachel doesn't make you cool or tough. What the fuck do you want? Take a picture of me and I'll break your fucking camera. How do you know these are Rachel's clothes? Because she looks beautiful in them and you look like ass. You're lucky I just took that gun from you. Grab your keys and let's check out your RV. Let's not. You fucking creep me out. In other words, Max, no keys. Maybe I could chat up that officer, or even Nathan. I just wanted to see what would happen if I did this. I'm gonna kill you. <coughs> you eat like a pig. Try the floor. I was eating those beans. Are you fucking insane? I was eating those bees! <laughs> what the fuck now? Could I get you to drop Chloe's debt? Are you supposed to be a smart student? You'll find out if you do me this favor. Thanks, Godmother, but I don't need your favors. And Chloe doesn't get any from me. <coughs> Rachel! Uh, whatever the fuck. Uh... Oh, look! Max Amber! Nice outfit. <laughs> By the way, thanks for getting me fucking expelled, you twee bitch. You're lucky this is a public place. 
Considering we're in a public diner with a police officer right over there, you shouldn't advertise your rage, Prescott. Oh yeah? You shouldn't have bitch snitched on me to that fucked up principal. I bet Frank hooked you and Rachel Amber up with party supplies. Nice try. Rachel partied like a fiend on her own. More than me. I doubt that. Like you would know, virgin. Even that pig over there knows Rachel hung out more with Frank. I mean, don't talk to the cop about that, dumbass. Try interrogating somebody else, Lieutenant Caulfield. Holy shit, what do you want now? I bet you hoped that Kate Marsh would stay quiet. Idiot says what? Did you drug her? You are so stupid, Max. You think you're so goddamn smart, too. Don't push me, girl. You don't want me for an enemy, understand? Do you? Calm down, dude. We're in the diner. Right. Plus, you're an adult now. I can sue your dumbass for libel. Thanks. Now fuck off, Dyke. Holy... Your sugar daddy will always protect you. And threaten me. You don't know shit about my father or me. Nobody here does. Then tell me what I should know. Why? So you can pretend to care, hmm? Spoiler alert, he's an asshole. Maybe I could help you. I don't need you for anything except to stay out of my fucking business, understand? Now get out of my face. <sighs> Holy sh... Listen, Nathan. I'll take back everything I said about you. If you hook me up with Frank. Know what I mean? You look like you've never even taken a hit of baby aspirin. How do you think I stay wired all night studying? So is it a deal or not? Calm down, hard up. Deal. You'll get your school supplies. Just go over to Frank and whisper, higher education. You'll hook your ass up. <sighs> there she is, Super Maxine. That's your new nickname around the bay. Sorry, but you did earn it. We're all real proud of you for helping Kate down. Thanks, Officer Barry. I was just lucky. And right on time. Kate is who counts. I'm glad you're representing Blackwell Academy. Do you think Arcadia Bay is a weird town? I'd take a normal city with normal problems about now. It makes me sick thinking about it. I feel like David Madsen represents Blackwell. Not for long. He's a loose cannon. We all respect him for his service, but he's too eager. He's eager to be a dick to me and Chloe. That's true. He was ranting about a stolen gun, and then I tuned out. Somebody's always out to get him. What can I do for you, Max? I thought Nathan Prescott represents Blackwell. Well, don't make me backwash this bacon. You know what the Prescotts represent. Taking over Arcadia Bay? You're not far wrong, Max. I heard the Prescotts are working on some new big land deals. Mr. Prescott helped out my family once a while ago. So I made a deal with him that I can't seem to get out of. Man, if I could get one instant replay in life. I better finish my breakfast first. We'll chat later, Max. I shouldn't have said that. I'll need to roll. What can I do for you, Mac? I guess Kate Marsh will be the face of Blackwell for a while. And you for helping her. That's the kind of school spirit we need more of. <laughs> 